Hey guys, Maxxasy here and today I show you a little bit about the new feature from Steam, the uh, Steam in-home streaming. And I wanted to do this video for a while now and today I finally came around to do it. And I hope you will enjoy, so let's get started. All the people out there that follow the Valve and Steam news regularly probably already know about this. Um, but here's the little explanation for the people out there who don't know what this is all about. As you can see here in this little overview, we have the living room or bedroom PC or your Steam machine, whatever, on the left side, um, where it's written display. And you can use your controller also there to navigate through the uh, um, big picture mode of Steam. And then your input is running through the home network over to your strong PC that will most likely be at your desktop or um, in your man cave or wherever. And this computer will run the game process. It will take your input, it will render the game and of course capture a picture of the game, encode this and send it back through the home network to your living room or bedroom PC. So your living room or bedroom PC has only one task and this is to decode the video stream and audio stream and display it on your screen. That means you can play all the games, all the new titles on your weak PC in the living room without having a beefy machine there. Another benefit is that you don't even have to install the game on each of your computers at home. You actually only have to have it installed on your beefy machine and then you can you can play it on every other computer in your house. Another useful scenario would be playing games on a Linux machine that are usually only run on Windows. Um, since your Linux computer only has to be strong enough to stream the games or to receive the stream and encode it, um, it's possible to play all the Windows games on your Linux machine. So now that you know everything about the in-home streaming, um, you are probably wondering how you can get into the beta and it's quite easy. You just have to join the beta Steam group and you will receive an invitation shortly. At least I joined pretty early and I got it a few days later in my email. So um, it should still be the same. You just join the group and then some days later you get the invitation and once you get it, you can start um, opting into the beta on both of your computers. You just go to Steam, Settings, and then you go to the tab where you can choose the beta option. You log into the same account on both computers and once you start your big picture mode on the computer you want to play at, you will be greeted with some new menus. So first of all, you want to go in your library and choose the game you want to play and you select it and then you see this new option if you press um, Y here in this example, because I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, you have this more ways to play option and when you click on it, it brings up all the local and streaming sources. So here you select your strong PC, like here in the example Max CPC, this is my strong PC at, the, at my desk and then you can just start the game from there. Here are the specs of both of my computers that I'm going to use today in the test. One of them is my strong computer at the desk that I use every day and will be used to stream the games today. And the other PC that I'm going to use to play the game at, um, basically the bedroom PC or living room PC, however you want to call it. This is an old computer about six, um, yeah, five or six years old. I can't remember exactly, but it's quite old and outdated. The first game I'm testing here is Super Meat Boy, a jump and run game that usually don't takes a lot of processing power on any computer and uh, here while streaming it, um, it almost feels like no difference if I play it on my strong PC or here with the streaming. Um, it just um, is perfect quality, high FPS and absolutely zero input lag. So uh, I will definitely recommend playing jump and run games with Steam in-home streaming. The next game I tried was uh, Flat Out The Ultimate Carnage, a racing game. 
And this also worked quite nice. Um, zero input lag and the video quality just quite nice. Um, I played this game two years ago on my PC and I didn't feel any difference playing it here with the streaming. The next game I tried was Portal 2 and finally a game that needs a little bit more processing power and I was not sure if this will uh, work perfectly here but I was really surprised the game um, running at full HD with 60 FPS without any problems and it felt quite nice apart from the controller because I'm not used to playing FPS games with a controller and also in the menu it was a little bit clunky with the controller sometimes I had to use my mouse um, to get rid of my cursor that suddenly appeared in the menu and blocked me from using my controller in the menu so that's the only negative downside maybe there's a fix for this or I did something wrong um, yeah but that gives me one minus for this game the next game I tried was Bioshock Infinite and here my camera couldn't capture the picture correctly because the game is so bright but um, it looks normal when you play it um, also the game was um, quite fluid and everything was running perfectly well um, there was absolutely no downsides in this game and it's quite enjoyable if you play it with the streaming even though the game is quite new and needs a strong PC usually it's a nice experience to play it with the streaming one of the downsides is when your computer is streaming the game you can't use it for anything else so as you can see it here the game is actually on both my computers so overall I would say this in-home streaming is quite a nice idea and has a lot of possibilities um, also if you don't want to buy a console and you already have an old computer lying around somewhere at home you can just use it like um, like a console and you can play your whole um, Steam library on it you don't even have to buy any new games or anything anyways that's it with this video and if you want to see more like this um, videos where I talk about new features or Valve projects just write me in the comments or give me a thumbs up or whatever and let me know so I will do it more in the future that's all for today see you next time bye bye